Hi, this is So Chung, the founder of Commercial Financing Experts Academy and the creator of the first Commercial Financing Mastery course in Western Canada. I'm glad to be here today to talk to you about Commercial Financing and the first video of 2018. I'm so excited. There's so much to cover and so little time. Now let's dive right into it right now. For those who are involved in commercial financing, great, congratulations. 2018 is going to be an unbelievable year. I guarantee you that much. You'll see. As more and more regulations and government interventions come into our, our space, our industry, there's going to be more and more need to go into commercial space to get the money for our investor and our clients out there that are business for sale. Now, there is variables that are out of our control uh, still in the commercial financing space but not so much in government intervention. The biggest variable really is, is going to be on cash flow. Now a lot of the, the, the bankers are balance sheet lenders when it goes to commercial financing. Now, just the idea, in, in the residential broker channel world, our, our funds are basically given to us on the bond market or as well as big big banks that have excess funds to get some wholesale money uh, for, for mortgages. For the commercial side, it's all a balance sheet lender. So a very little of, of that is coming from the government and some are for a multi-unit rental example does come from the bond market, but that's a totally different case. Specifically speaking for commercial financing is most money come from depositors. So the cash crunch it's going to be, as you can see, is credit unions. Even though they were, even though they were the best source of money in the past, moving forward they become more and more difficult to get money from them because of uh, the demand that's been put onto them and how how little deposits there are at the credit union level than a retail bank. Now, retail banks have always been a big supplier. They have so much fun because it's across Canada and in every small little town, there's probably going to be one of those banks there. Credit union on that hand, they do exist in all the little municipalities and small little town as well, but their, the source of funds is not as much because they can't leverage it from across, the can, across Canada nationwide. So all I'm going to say is that, yes, there is a tendency to pick the credit unions for small commercial financing projects, uh, especially for construction. They've been relied on a lot in the past, but moving forward, they've been getting more and more difficult. Uh, they ran out of money earlier in the years than most other banks do, the retail banks. Matter of fact, retail banks don't have that issue. All they do is claw back and they say they long, no longer offer or too much on their books already. So that's the biggest challenge that we will you see moving forward. Now, I, I don't really want to put bad news, negative news so that uh, it, it uh, pushes you away from exploring the commercial financing space further. It's just that's the reality. So I understand that up front. Now, why do I say this? I say this because ex upfront expectation is a big thing in commercial financing. You need to tell your clients up front so that they know what to expect. They know that it's going to take longer. So the process of commercial financing is this. The intake is usually not much different. There is a slight variations in the application that asks about the uh, company structure, that asks about uh, information about uh, past uh, uh, foreclosure or any bankruptcies and company has any, any lawsuit and th those sort of things when, it, when you're dealing with offering company and perhaps holding company. The other process takes longer. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of uh, resident market brokers don't like it because it takes too long. Yes, some, some of my projects can take up to a year, but some have been like buying a, a retail warehouse can take the same time amount of time as it takes to buy a townhouse. So the process is similar if you're buying strata property as you're buying townhouse. So it's not much different. Now, the only other parts of, of commercial finance that difference is that we allow to use corporate income and other holding company income and business income that are outside uh, outside of your personal operated operation. You're not actively involved, but you do have that income coming from you. Uh, that come to you, to you uh, as far as income wise and the other part of the process is the, the appraisals cost more money sometimes upwards of 10 times more money 
and the other part is legal costs can cost upwards as double. Maybe even uh, even on a commercial deal can cost between twenty five hundred to five thousand uh, dollar, and it's not uncommon. The challenge that we see is that subject removal dates on any purchases has to be extended even further. And I always tell uh, clients that, that that are buying commercial property, they better work with a commercial realtor or ask the, the realtor that's taking care of the, the, the file that they have a mentor to help them to understand how long the completion should be or the subject removal date should be in the future. And uh, the other part is that the, the uh, Approval letters you get is similar to what uh, a discussion letter or a letter of interest is what they call it. This is preliminary approval, it's similar to what a pre-approval is. Until they get the appraisal done, the environmental done, oh, that's the other thing. Environmentals are usually conditioned on most of the financing requirements, and you need to know which environmental company you use. Some are good, some are bad. Really, there are some bad ones too, just like there was some good appraisal company and some bad appraisal company that don't really help you get the deal approved. So those are the few minor nuances that you have to deal with when you do commercial financing. But other than that, the other process is just pretty straightforward. This is the video number two coming up, and I look forward to talking to you then. Take care, have yourself an awesome day.